you are about to witness the very exciting story of a city and its people. So when you think about Michigan's automotive heritage, it's really second to none in terms of the amount of time that we've been doing this work as a state. So not only do you have the big three with Ford, General Motors, and Chrysler all having significant heritage and history in the region, you also basically have every other OEM have some type of presence in uh, the Ann Arbor region and in Michigan. So the future of mobility is at a pretty exciting time in Ann Arbor and Michigan and throughout the world. Basically, you have a number of different technologies that are converging to be able to create a world that is more connected, safe, and environmentally friendly, which is a pretty exciting time. There's a range of technologies involved here. When we talk about connected and automated vehicles, there are lots of different things involved. So uh, just taking the connected side, for example, we talk about vehicle-to-vehicle -vehicle or V2V communications, and that tends to be in the safety realm. So vehicles are communicating with each other on position, speed, and heading, and a few other things at all times, like 10 times a second, and that's for crash avoidance. When you look at sort of the research side of the coin from an automotive standpoint, you obviously have the significant private sector base already happening and doing a lot of that research and development here. And then you have a terrific amount of organizations that are already, they're doing supplementary work to that. So you have uh, the Center for Automotive Research based in Ann Arbor. You have the University of Michigan Transportation Research Institute based here in Ann Arbor. And now you have a really significant asset like M-City, uh, this is really a one-of-a-kind facility because of, it's got a dedicated traffic control network. Uh, it has uh, signs and roadways that can be uh, changed, adjusted. We can move lane markings, we can replace signs, we can take them away altogether. Uh, the traffic network we can program to operate however we want it to. Um, there's nothing else really like it anywhere else uh, because, again, you know, most uh, test tracks are designed for endurance high speed and durability. Spark, however, recognized that a much larger facility is needed to move potential innovations from the research phase to validation and commercialization in the public domain. That's why a broad group of stakeholders across private, public, and the NGO community in Southeast Michigan is studying the feasibility of developing the Willow Run redevelopment site into a connected vehicle testing facility. The American Center for Mobility is an organization that has been created to operate a connected and automated vehicle testing center at Willow Run in Ypsilanti Township. The opportunity at Willow Run is really significant because it's going to provide 335 acres of dedicated, connected, and automated vehicle testing space. So we recognize that the new future of mobility is going to require a new type of person, a new type of talent base, and we think that we're very well positioned to be able to supply the talent base for that industry moving forward. You have a significant history in engineering, both on the industrial side, on the mechanical side, on the electrical side, on software and IT development, and we think that all those are really going to converge into one, uh, one type of talent base moving forward, and we think that there's no better place in the world to do that than here.